Hello, hello, and welcome back to the Who Are You podcast. I'm your host, Connor Overbay, coming out to you guys every single week from Jacksonville, Florida. If this is your first time listening to the podcast, welcome. We are always happy to have a new listener. Make sure you guys give us a follow on all of our social media. It's going to be at Who Are You Pod for Instagram, TikTok, Twitter, uh, what else, YouTube now, all over the place. So make sure you guys give us a follow on there as well. And anytime you guys see the podcast, whether it's on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, please, or YouTube, please give us a five star rating. It helps the podcast gets seen by more people helps us get more amazing guests like we have today so we're going to go ahead and get started here today i'm sitting down with a very very special guest you guys may have seen this man on a couple other different podcasts kind of going around some fashion shows as well today i'm sitting down with mr tyshawn young or excuse me Ty, tyshawn young i'm having a hard time yeah, tyshawn yeah. oh that was right yeah. tyshawn young and we're sitting down today to have a good conversation really about everything you do but before we get in too deep in the conversation please let everybody know where they can find your social media your website youtube and that good stuff uh social media is stay young clothing one why everybody always do the two why <laughs> s-t-a-y-o-u-n-g uh clothing.com and then instagram same thing at stay young clothing tiktok at stay young clothing everything's at stay young clothing you're good one man why. <laughs> i much i feel like it's better to do it that way than yeah. you know have something in all different places it's hard to find people yeah that i was gonna switch it and be like the stay uh, like nah, i'm just gonna do stay young clothing everywhere hey i understand man i like to hear it i like to hear it so just to get into the conversation, everything, get to know a little bit of your background. Where are you originally from? Uh, I'm originally from Hampton, Virginia. Hampton, Virginia. Yeah. So is that more middle of the state? Where Where is Hampton? I don't think I know too much about Virginia. Uh, it's more near the water, mm. really like Virginia Beach, uh, coastal area. It's just nothing to go go to, though. It's not, it's not like Jackson Beach. <laughs> no, nah, I understand. Jackson Beach is cool and everything, but I was born and raised here. It's just yeah. after a while, you know, going to the same spot, seeing the same people 10,000 times, it just kind of kills it for you. Yeah. But no, that's awesome, man. And obviously, we were talking a little bit before the podcast started. You're in the military. You said you were in the Navy, correct? Yep, Navy. Nice. So um, am I allowed to know what you do in the Navy? Um, yeah, for sure. So I've had some people on who work in like intelligence and other oh, stuff, yeah. and they're like, yeah, intel. I can't talk about it. I just want to make sure. Yeah, can't talk about intel. <laughs> but um, I do um, basically every everything with the ordinance so like aviation ordinance okay so bombs rockets missiles all that stuff yeah. Hell yeah. i load it to the aircraft do you really yeah how how heavy is one of those i uh, guess shells like, i don't know what you even really call them a missile whatever you want to say it all depends on what aircraft but so like my first command i was with fighters f-18s and i would load thousand pound bombs 500 pound bombs or certain missiles be like 200 pounds but where i'm at now i load them on helicopters so we don't really n- load bombs on helicopters because f- bombs are just free fall. Okay. We don't really do that. But torpedoes, they're like probably like 200 pounds maybe or hellfires. They're like 90-something pounds. That's our, Those mis- are missiles, AGM missiles. Damn, man. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's a lot of ordnance that we load, but all platforms, though. That's crazy, yeah, man. It's, it's dope. It's, it's exciting sometimes when you're on deployment, you're just loading stuff and it don't come back. So <laughs> <laughs> it, do, it doesn't come back. That's how you know something was going down. That's the best feeling when it doesn't come back. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's badass, man. And did you know from a young age you wanted to go in the military or was it more just kind of the best way to go do something else in your life? Uh, my dad was in the military. My granddad was in the military. My uncle was in. So I kind of was like, oh, yeah, I'm going to join. And I, like, I didn't like school. Mm. So I was like, yeah, I'm just going to join the military. And go to school for free instead of going out of college, uh, going out of high school and paying for it. I was like, yeah, I'm just gonna join. Hell yeah, man! Here and I go. wanted to travel. I would say that's freaking badass. Man. Sorry about that. No, you're good. <laughs> Always got some technical difficulties, no matter what I do. But no, that's that's freaking sweet, man. Obviously, you know, I'm not a military man, uh, but I've had family members who were in the Navy. My stepfather was a uh, sonar technician for a little while. Mm. Um, We have his father was in the Marines. I don't know. I think he was a drill sergeant and a couple other things, which was interesting. Mm. But no, that's awesome. So you said your family member was in the military as well? Yeah, mostly mostly my dad's side. uh, And you said your dad was in the military, correct? Mm -hmm. What'd your dad do? Do you know? Yeah, he did the same thing I did. Oh, for real? Yeah, so I I just followed suit. Hey man, but yeah, he was he was old, old older AO though. They call him AOs, a- aviation orders man. Gotcha, so, gotcha. Yeah. Do you plan on staying in for a longer term, more than just your contract? Yeah, for sure. I'm trying to do twenty. Oh, so you're, is that considered yeah. a lifer? Uh, twenty is retirement. Ooh. Yeah, so 20, you get that retirement check. I'll, hey. I'll be like 38, 39 years old. Hey, that's solid, man. And yeah. say retired at, like, you're not even 40 yet, you know, kind of go out and do whatever you want, slowly, still have a... Slowly tracking my time down. I've been in eight so far. So, this, okay. actually, April. Yeah, April 
April 4th. It will be eight. Congrats for you, man. So, yeah. And we we always appreciate our veterans here as well. We've had a bunch of them on here in Jax. It seems like everybody is a veteran and also does something else on the side kind of thing. And I I love to see that. It's cool. got a lot of time. I mean, especially when you're back home, you just got a lot of time to do everything. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that. So, uh, how long have you been in Jackson? I believe you said two years? Two years. Gotcha. So, when you first came to Jacksonville, did you even know what Jacksonville was or anything about it before you came here? Yes. My um, my uncle that I grew up with, he moved to Jacksonville probably when I was in, I want to say, seventh or eighth grade. Mm-hmm. So he came out here, and um, he was a cop. For oh. A time. Yeah, he's a cop. I don't, I don't think he's a cop anymore. I think he did 15 years. I'm sure he had a fun time running around Jacksonville being a cop. Yeah, he said at first it was boring, but he would, he would always tell me, like, when I went overseas – he was always like, come to Jackson, come to Jackson. You're going to like it out here. You're going to like it out here. I'm just like, uh, I mean, I can't really choose. I kind of get, like, options, and then hopefully nobody gets selected. But I was like, right, yeah, I got selected for Jackson. He was super excited. That's and cool. I eventually came to Jackson. I, I don't want to leave now. I just want to finish my time here 12 years. <laughs> I understand, yeah. man. Jacksonville's definitely a cool spot. There's a lot of stuff going on now, and it's also growing to yeah. what it is now. Like, back when I was young, Jacksonville didn't have all these businesses and didn't have all this mm-hmm. other stuff going on around. And now it's just it's starting to boom. And we've talked about it a bunch on the other episodes and stuff. But it's cool to see the art and everything grow here. The clothing brands are getting bigger. All these other things are starting to really get big in Jacksonville, which yeah. makes me proud of my city. I want this yeah, to be... Yeah, they're building a lot. It's, it's, the buildings, it's just crazy. Where I live now, if I go out in my neighborhood and make a left, it's just all these trees that's getting tore down, putting mm-hmm. dirt down their building. Like, last week, I swear, it was trees there, and now you can see two... It's like two buildings with the, like, you know, the, the, the stuff... It was it's construction everywhere basically, and it's yeah. just, it's crazy how Jacksonville was. I feel like it's gonna be the new Miami. I keep telling everybody that. I can see it, man, being like the new Miami, Orlando, Tampa kind yeah. of thing, and obviously like it's not nearly as expensive as mm-hmm. it is in those other places. But no, it's really cool, and obviously you know you have your clothing brand as well, Stay Young Clothing, which is awesome. And just to name off some of the people I've seen wear your clothes, mm-hmm. big names I've seen: Travis Etienne, Desi Banks, uh, Keon White for the Patriots, Trey Young for the Atlanta. Uh, hawks yeah how how in the world do you get your clothes to those men because that's a dream for most people yeah. um Trey, so with trey young that was um that was kind of like almost luck i got him before he went to the league mm. oh you so, got yeah. him did you meet him personally no, or? No, 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 no i didn't meet him personally but um i just reached out and you know i was just like you know what I'm just going to reach out to him. And mm-hmm. this is like maybe the summer before he got drafted. Like everybody knew he was going to get drafted. Of course, but, yeah. Um, yeah, I reached out to him. He was like, oh, yeah, man, I like your stuff. Just, just send me send me some stuff. And he gave me his Oklahoma address, his parents' address. So I was like, dang, this dude even gave me his parents' address. Like, That's so, a lot to for especially a professional athlete. Yeah, you know. especially when you know you're, you know you're going to get drafted. So, yeah, I, I reached out, and um, he responded quick, too. Like it wasn't like a – Weeks gone by. I feel like it was a couple days, if I remember. It was a couple days ago. He was like, yeah, just send me this. I wear this. I'm just like, okay. So at the time, I didn't really have a lot of stuff. I was just starting off. I was just like, you know what? Fuck it. I'm just going to send what I got. So I sent him a whole bunch of hats, sent him a whole bunch of shirts. And I feel like every hat he wore, every like every colorway hat that I sent, I probably sent five. He just kept wearing them and kept wearing them. I That's like, badass, I was, dude. I was like, only if he would have tagged me. Only if he would. No, tagged. he didn't tag. <laughs> they, but at least, at yeah. least that, the symbols out there. Obviously, that's a million eyeballs, yeah. multiple, probably millions of eyeballs now since he's been in the league. Mm-hmm. That's still badass, though. And yeah. but no, like all these other names and like comedian Desi Banks and obviously Jaguars Travis Etienne and all that. Those are huge names to be wearing your clothing. Yeah. That was it's crazy, man. That's all from Jacksonville. Mm-hmm. The Trey, the Trey Young stuff when I, I was in Virginia, but everybody after that was Jacksonville. That's that's awesome. So that's why I was just like, first of all, I, I love I love Jacksonville because of the support you, that you get. It's just it's it's natural. It's not like you have to beg and 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 you know just beg basically. No, I totally understand, man. It's nice to see that people are willing to collaborate. And yeah. obviously, another part of the collaboration that I've seen with you, mm-hmm. you were featured or really the main guy of the Jacksonville Fashion Expo. Is that the yeah. name of it and everything? I wouldn't say the main guy. I don't want to take credit for. Excuse me, not it. the main guy, but you know, <laughs> I one of the main things I saw were a lot of your clothing. Obviously, yeah. I saw Time and Place was there as well, mm-hmm. which shout out to Brett. He's been on the pod as well. Shout out to him. Mm-hmm. And then I believe uh, Savage at Peace was in there as yeah, well, they, right? Oh, yeah. I think they did a... They did like a collab mm-hmm. together. And then it was Disco uh, Disco Dolly and uh, Keeks Vintage. They were more of the vintage, okay. vintage side. But yeah, as far as the brands, I was more so like uh, original 
from like the pieces. Mm-hmm. Like, so it's like, I don't want to say like original, like Savage. That piece wasn't original, but as I, I think, I think he had a couple pieces that were vintage, but it was his like logo. Or gotcha. Right there. But for me, it was just everything's natural. That's like, badass, like dude. Yeah, and so. that was a huge show, like an yeah, absolutely turned, huge yeah, show. Man. Shout out to uh, Cam because that was that, that turned out really good. Collab. I've been trying to get you on the pod, man. I know there's was there three of them that are the owners. Yeah, I, th- I think so. I, I, I'm. Come get on the podcast, man. I want to talk to y'all. Yeah, It'd be cool. I, they, they, they're, I know John, mm-hmm. which is one of the owners, I'm pretty sure. I know he's busy, dude. Oh, I'm sure. I'll, it dude, seems like every day they're throwing another event. Every day, man. I'm just like, dang, these dudes busy. Like, even, yeah, this is, he's all, I think he was just in Vegas not too long ago. Oh, like, shit. Maybe like last week, I think. Damn. Yeah, he's, he's always busy. But yeah, man, the, the Drewski, I met, I mean, not Drewski, Desi. Mm-hmm. So Desi, that was more of a, you know, me and wife, we just gonna go to a show, and then I say, you know what? I know he's from Atlanta. I got an Atlanta colorway hat. I'm just gonna perfect. I'm just, I'm just gonna try it. I went up there. He was like, "Oh man, man, I love this hat." And he was like, "Oh yeah, I want this. I'm gonna buy this from you." No, and that's then, the thing for me is like I'm a huge hat guy. Like anytime I go, like a lot of times with the people we've had on the pod, either someone will give it to me or I'll buy from them because I'm I wear hats all day long. Yeah, uh, me so too. That, that's always my style, especially right now when I got this long hair. Mm-hmm. But no, it's that that's I feel like that's one of the easier pieces you hand someone. They'll definitely throw it on, yeah. you know. At least, and you never know who's gonna see that and talk about it yeah. with other people. He was like, "Oh yeah, just, you know, I'm from Atlanta." I was like. Yeah, I know. That's why I bought the hat. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, he put it on. We took a couple pictures, and he was just like, yeah, let me know. Because I had some – in in that picture, I had my jeans on, too. Mm. So I just dropped – I just released those jeans. And uh, he was like, yeah, I'm, I like them jeans, too. I was like, yeah, this is mine, too. I was like, everything I got on is is, is my brand. He was like, what? He's like, man, you got to get my security guard, get your number or something. I was like – well, I gave his number, but you know you know how that goes sometimes. That's but cool, man. Either way, I mean, it was – it turned out it turned out really good as far as just – Get an opportunity to take that picture, mm-hmm. or knowing that they genuinely like it. Mm-hmm. So yeah, that was that was dope. And then the the Travis Etienne, um, that was like a that was just like a blessing because I met this guy named Jesse, and um, he he's really into the shoe world and the clothes, and he he's like a I I, I call him a celebrity mm-hmm. because he's always like I hit him up yesterday trying to meet with him. He was like, "Yo, I'm in Cali right now." Like. He's always just always moving. He's he, he's gonna be one of those guys in the future for sure. But yeah, I met him at a at a store. Like I, I was going there getting some shoes because I I love buying shoes too. Mm-hmm. And I met him and he was just like, "Yo, I like this hoodie." And I was like, "Oh yeah, that's this is my hoodie. It's my brand." He was like, "What man? It's not your brand." I was like, "Yeah." And I had my shades on and I had a hat on. I always wear like you know my shades and my hats at least. He was like, "Man, you should we should do something." I was like. Let's, let's do it. Let me know. And so I gave him a whole bunch of hoodies, and I gave him a whole bunch of jeans. And then next thing you know, he sent me a picture. And I'm not a Jacksonville Jaguars fan, but he was like, hey, Google Travis Etienne. And at the time, I don't think he was the starting running back. I think mm-hmm. it was somebody else. He probably just got drafted and yeah. it was a coming up kind of thing. Yeah, so he was like, hey, he, he liked your hoodie, and he he bought one of them. And then next thing you know, I, I think he came back and bought like three more of the hoodies and That's then he clean. signed one for me too like he bought it he bought like an xl and then signed it and then jesse sent me that picture and i'm just like oh snap and my dad he liked travis Etienne because he i don't know what college he went to he went to uh clemson, clemson he yeah. played with uh trevor lawrence okay i, I figured it was clemson because my dad he lived in south carolina so, mm, gotcha yeah. but um yeah he he sent me that picture and i was like oh dang that's that's nice like and then next thing you know he was like he wants more stuff and i was like Oh damn! All Done. Right. Let me yeah. know. <laughs> so it went from that, and then he he has a younger brother too. Yeah, uh, Travis. Trevor. Trevor. That, Trevor. I was like, I knew it started with a T. Yeah. yeah, and then you know he just went to Auburn, but he wanted some jeans. I was like, okay, well now I got to start pushing stuff to to Jesse, and he's kind of been like the middleman. Like it's this guy named JJ Weaver that goes to Kentucky, like, mm-hmm. like a linebacker. I know that name. Yep. Yeah, he reached out. Guy, he got some jeans. Hell yeah, man! And then one of the guys that hang with Travis, he's, I think that's his best friend. He's like a R and B dude, like an R and B singer named. Dylan Troy, mm-hmm. he reached out. I was just like, "Dang, all right." Well, That's a crazy so feeling. I just push everything to Jesse, and he kind of just 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 makes the moves. Is this me. over text message, DMs? How's that? Well, with Jesse, is it just through text. Jesse? Okay, yeah, yeah, Jesse. He's like he he's just plugged in with everybody. Yeah, he's like I don't want to say too much because he he's he's doing a lot of stuff. No, you're good, Jackson. man. Nothing, no but problem he, with yeah, that. He like. I'm trying to tell you this guy. He need to come on up. I'm gonna try to get him. Let up me here. know, bro. Yeah, I'm gonna try to get him up because he uh, he sent me a. Let's just say he sent me a photo and he was with 
Bella Thorne and Sam Smith. Ooh. Like at a, I don't know what award place it was, but he was there, and I was just like, "Yo, I know it's not Sam Smith, bro." He was like, "Yeah, man, don't show, don't show nobody." <laughs> That's <laughs> wild, like, dude. It, it was a couple months ago. I'm just like, man, he's, he's always traveling. But yeah, meeting him, um, that definitely put my brand on a you know a, a little higher pedestal than mm-hmm. what it was on. But and then the the what's the other guy, Keon White. So yeah, it was a uh, one of the, one of his designers reached out to me. Um, one of my friends from high school that's been with me since I started the brand, like not with me, but been supporting since I started the brand. He was like, yo, um, those jeans. Cause I didn't release the jeans. I was just showing him like the stuff that I'm going to be doing. Gotcha. And he took that picture and sent it to one of his designers and his designers reached out to me. He was like, Hey, I want them jeans and I want that hoodie. And then that's how the hoodie ended up on the NFL, uh, style page. That's what bad ass, yeah, so man. I was just like, dang, all this stuff was happening all at once. I yeah. say that would make me feel amazing, dude. Yeah. I can can imagine if if I saw someone hit me up and I was like Travis Etienne was like, "Hey, let me come on the pod." I'm like, Pfft. "Yeah, I'm like, where you at right now?" Yeah. <laughs> I was like, "I'll get there." Yeah, no, it's dope though. No, that's badass, man. So obviously, to get back into obviously, you know, you have all these people wearing your clothes, and then you get with the collab cafe here in Jacksonville, which is mm-hmm. pretty big here now. Walk me through that experience of setting up or not setting up, but uh, working with the show. Obviously, I'm not in fashion in any way, shape, or form, yeah. so I don't know how they pick people for their models to wear Mm -hmm. which models to wear what walk me through that process of working with them and having the show go on so it it, it was crazy because i did you know what 904 events like of course 904 like pop up and everything yeah so i was just like you know what i'm gonna do it i'm new to jacks i might as well just do it so i did one and it was a real small one um i think it was only maybe 20 vendors there Mm. it's somewhere where it's like a whole bunch of art sprayed up on the wall okay i don't know how far i don't know the name of the actual area and is this the beach that you're still talking about no, or is it a different area no this is a different area okay. so the first one so i i went there and it's like hey you should do the 904 pop-up and i'm just like okay i'm pretty sure that's big because everywhere you go in jacksonville you're 30 minutes away mm-hmm. and they tell us the 904 pop-up and it was like okay yeah it's 200 vendors at the beach so that was my second one i set up there two of the models that was in the show came up to the table was like oh man i like the clothing is nice um you should uh, you know, it's this fashion show that we're going to be in. You should definitely hit the guy up, which is Cam. Mm-hmm. That's the, the owner of it or the creator of it. And uh, you should try to be in a fashion show. We need more brands. I'm just like, okay, cool. Now, this where it gets crazy. <laughs> John, he has collab prints. Okay. And he made a couple of my shirts. Like when I first came to Jax, I was trying to look for the, you know, the, you know, guys that press shirts. Or of course. Yeah. So I met John first before I met Cam. So I met John at the collab drop off some shirts and then literally a week later i did the 904 event the models was like oh yeah you should reach out to cam i was already following cam through john okay and i was like oh damn i'm already following him so i hit him up and uh we hopped on the phone and he asked me a couple questions and stuff like that he was like okay cool i want you to be in the show so i want to say three weeks later it's show time that he already had my he had like 20 I think he had maybe 30 models and he already had them there. Like they were all just going to be in the show. So you, I'll just select my pieces and what piece I want to be on the model. Mm-hmm. And, and the rest of the rest was history. Hell but yeah. It, it was definitely, I mean, it was just crazy how the turnout of that show was. I was checking out your page, man. I love the video of you walking up with a drink in your hand, oh. big old smile and yeah. just walking around with the sunglasses, you yeah. know, the whole fit on. I was like, this man was having a good time. I liked it. Yeah. That's my, I, I got a, um, I actually got a photographer under stay young clothing. Um, X that's his name. Okay. But, uh, X visuals, that's his, uh, I think it's X visuals productions. And he's or, local to Jax. Yeah. He's, he's out here in Jax. Okay. Um, we were deployed together in Japan, which is crazy. He got out the Navy and he moved to Japan, and then I moved. I mean, he moved to Jax, and then I came down here. And I was like, "Damn, I didn't know you was in Jax." And from there, we just kind of clicked up. All my photo shoots, everything on my um, Instagram is is uh, from Xavier, my photographer. So he was like, "Hey, when you walk down, I'm gonna be right here." I was like, "All right, cool." I said, "I'm gonna come down." I said, "I'm gonna dap up my uh, one of my bros." And uh, I said, I'm going to point at the camera. I'm just going to walk away. Hey. I said, all right, you do the rest. He was like, I'm going to be right here. And I was just like, dang. I, at first, I didn't see him. Mm-hmm. And then I came down. I'm just like, okay. Well, there's so, ma- like, there's so many people on each side of you. Man, yeah. that, that would definitely mess with me a little bit. And there's people I knew from like high school. I saw people in the background. I'm like, I know them. I know Man. them. I was, like, I was like, oh, shit. There's all kinds of people out there. Yeah, it was it was definitely a dope, dope experience. But, hey, I love that video. <laughs> Hell got yeah. 33,000. I said, oh, I man. saw it, man. Yeah, I was just like, dang, that's Did crazy. Some numbers on there, and that was like, it, it got 10k in like a week, Ooh, shit. or maybe maybe four days. I'm just like, it's no way. 
I was like, I just need to go viral and just match up these views to the followers, and I'll be straight. But no, that never happened. It's the same with me, man. I got some videos I've gone off for like 10k or something, mm-hmm. and you know they don't all, all follow. But at the end of the day, I'm very appreciative for all of my followers. <laughs> um, but it's just you know the Instagram game, the internet game. It's all weird, you Crazy, know how man. stuff works. Because there'll be people who like all your stuff but don't follow you. Weird. You're like they do it all the time. It's, it's like, what are we doing right now? Why'd you just follow everything? <laughs> Why'd you just like everything? That shit pisses me off. It is what it is, man. But that's the thing is, like, what I like about the the slow drip, at least for me, the slow drip is, you know, the people who are following are actually wanting to interact and you know yeah. like your stuff, share your podcast, or share your clothing and everything. But it's just it's just one of those games, and you know, these people that I see have like multiple millions of followers, and they're like, oh yeah, I got 10k last night. I'm like, how? I'm like, how'd you get 10k followers last night? That's the most wild thing. And they and they they be bots. Oh they yeah, be real. Hey man, it'd be like that. But to keep going in with your the story of you and everything, what are like some of your interests outside of your clothing brand? What do you like to get into, or maybe you and your wife go and do things? What's your what's your all's uh, chill time? I guess I would say. I mean, chill time. We watching we watching movies. That's cool. Netflix. Uh, we got a dog. We don't have any kids. What kind of dog? dog? It's a little cockapoo. I like it. Name, I name like Mango. It. So yeah, name little, Mango little puppy. So. I mean, we just chill. I like. I'm a big cigar smoker. Okay. Smoker. Uh, my dad, he owns two cigar lounges in uh, South Carolina. So okay. He really put me on to the to the cigars, but I've been smoking cigars for a long time. So I, I would do that. Or we we just bought a ping pong table too. So we just, nice. we play ping pong in the garage. But we really just be chilling. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We don't really go. We, I mean, we'll go out, but not like clubs and stuff like that. I feel like we. Just, I'm not me and Shannon are not club people. Yeah. Anyway, nah, before. And that was yeah. more when we were 18, 19, a little more fun into that. Yeah. But so have you ventured too far out into Jacksonville? Like gone to the beaches, checked out the maybe some of the food scene here, any of that kind of stuff? Um. The beach, we definitely like riding the electric bikes. Oh yeah, we we get a bike and we, I mean we just ride all the way down and all the way back and we just look at the houses because we those houses look nice out They're there. They're beautiful it's, down it's there. Way better than Virginia Beach, but yeah, we'll do that. I mean, we'll do that on Saturdays. We, I mean, we just chill. We just we just chill a lot. Bro, besides, like besides us doing the podcast and us working and stuff, what I like to go do is like I go golf. I golf every Saturday, mm. and then Shannon likes to chill at home, read her book. You know, mm. I also play video games at night. You know, it's not like I live a crazy exciting yeah. life. I, what I like to do is, you know, if there's events in Jacksonville, I like to go and you know try to show some support. There's one here in Jacks. Uh, it's called Safe House. Have you heard of them? The mm. Safe, House. Safe House. Shout out to them, uh, Joe and Amp. Um, they also run a podcast here in Jacksonville called Random Acts Podcast. Huh. And they're they're pretty big around here, but um, the the one I went to last week was a art um, like critique and mm-hmm. like like uh, having like wine, talking to people. Oh, and uh, yeah, I like, I like wine. Me and my wife both like wine. We should- they're good people, man. They're the, they're, uh, they're in downtown, and actually, the gentleman who painted this his name is John Hawkins. Mm-hmm. Uh, shout out to John, super cool dude. Yeah, he, I was checking it out earlier. Yeah, I, I, th- I thought it was. Um, I thought it was like a piece for sale. Is it for sale? What this one? Yeah. Oh no, I bought it. Oh, <laughs> it's, yeah. it's, it's, it's mine. <laughs> but uh, no, but John does sell his stuff. And shout out to John. He's a super cool dude. They set up a thing where it was like an art critique, wine night, networking night, mm-hmm. and um, at the safe house, it's like it's a mix of things. They do events. Mm-hmm. They also have like um, uh, the same art night. They have people who do clothing. Yeah. They had people come in, show their pieces it's off. Outside. I'm sorry. Is it outside? It's inside. Oh, so inside? they actually have it. It's a full on space, and you go in. They do a couple of things. They do like custom rugs, so you mm-hmm. can like. Create, say like my logo behind you you can they'll draw oh. they'll draw that up for you and they'll put the yarn or whatever it is in the gun or mat yeah you yeah. can create it yourself they you also do young rug hey i'll be clean yeah. man but uh they're, they're good people man and uh the event was really cool like we walked around i i'm not an artist in any way shape or form mm-hmm. this is this is my art i guess i would consider it and Basically, each person who was either an artist or had something going on in Jax, they would walk up front and people, you would put your piece of art on like an easel or whatever it was, mm-hmm. and people would tell you what they like about it, what they felt about it, and what you could work on. Mm-hmm. And it's just really big on networking and help people that's, grow. That's nice. That's dope. Oh, yeah, man. Especially they see that open criticism. Oh, yeah. Because there's, there's people in there saying stuff. I'm like, I don't even know what they just said. And I'm like, uh, <laughs> I was like, so I kind of just sat in the back. Yeah. And this is my part of just trying to like open my mind because, like I said, I'm not an artist, but mm-hmm. I'm interested in seeing what people do and how they talk about their art, what mm-hmm. like what they feel about it, and it helps me kind of broaden my horizon of what I can talk to an artist about. Mm-hmm. So that's my big thing is going out to maybe different things that I'm not involved in, but yeah. at least kind of see what the culture is like, get to meet some people, and do that. I just scroll on Instagram if I see something like I usually see like a reel or something, mm-hmm. like, especially when it comes to like food. I I always see the food reels mm, yeah or like uh they do they do something down by like i know it's no i know it's by 904 tacos mm-hmm. it's like somewhere under a bridge where they do like the pop-ups oh they do the um that's a 
oh, not art in the park, but it's like an art event over yeah. there, and like have other vendors and oh, stuff. Oh, they have live like live music mm-hmm. on the little stage. I, I think it's Riverside, right? Yeah, Riverside yeah. area. That's hundred okay. percent. Yeah, so like that's. I mean, if I see something like that, I was like, oh yeah, we should go to this. Oh but yeah, man. Other than that, it's just so it's always something going on. In there, there is now. It is weather. This weather is great. I love the weather. It's nice. It's nice right now, but we're about to get into that summertime where it starts getting it rains at like two o'clock in the afternoon. And it looks like a hurricane, and thirty minutes later, it's gone. Mm-hmm. You're just like, what in the world just happened here? That's how it was two weeks ago. One of my best friends came up, and we went to uh, Jack's Beach, and the clouds. It was like it was about to storm. It was like, dang, we can't ride bikes now, and then. 20 minutes later, they were gone. We walked into the shop. We got the bikes, and then the cloud came back. But it, eventually, it, it never rained, so that was good. But I, I like it. It cools it down. Yeah, yeah. Because it, it gets hot out here, for real. It do. It definitely – I work I work outside all day, so I feel you on that, man. Doing the pest control side, man, I'm out, I'm outside people's houses. I'm in their attic going doing stuff. Oh, and attic. Oh, bro, I be, I'm sweating to death I, every single day. But it, it's it's good stuff. helps me try to stay a little trim, you know what I mean, and say try to keep the dad bod away for right now. <laughs> <laughs> But so to get back into your clothing and everything, how did you come up with like your logos or even your designs? How does that all work? Uh, do you do it yourself? Do you work with people who can create it for you? How's that all go? So um, at first it was just a, you know, basic, simple box tee, mm-hmm. stay young, um, starting off. I think I paid somebody to do that, like local in Virginia. And then as far as gradually going to something else i got some i just got people like all over honestly like this guy in japan that i met i'll come to him like yo hey i want this idea i mean like i want this design and he's like all right just give me a few days sometimes he'd be like yo give me a few hours but i kind of just go off of that like even for this hoodie i kind of it was it was more so like a dmx tribute like mm-hmm. see like the the doberman dog yeah so i just and then Drake dropped the album for the dogs. I say, okay, well, that's going to be the name of the hoodie. It's going to be called for the dogs. That's so, okay. So I, I kind of wanted like a distorted, you know, distressed look. And then, you know, just to stay young up there. And he made that PDF for me. I was like, yeah, I just got to go from that. But as far as the designs, I kind of just, it's, it's kind of, I kind of just go for like, Something original. Like, I always started with a blank canvas. It's almost like art, but I can't draw to save my ass. But Same. Um, it's it's a blank canvas, and it's kind of like what would I wear? Because mm-hmm. I'm more so just wear white tee or black tee or just real simple. I don't really like a whole bunch of colors. But it's it kind of just starts from that. Like, okay, would I wear this? And then I just go on. I either add or subtract. Mm-hmm. But I got guys all over, though. And so you're international is what yeah. it sounds like. I no, like it. I mean, with the designs, at least. And, I mean, even with the... Just the material, mm-hmm. Japan, for sure. That's clean. Yeah, the quality of clothing there is, is unbelievable. Yeah, and the one thing I saw you say, um, I, I watched the interview with you in a Grey Beard podcast, shout mm-hmm. out to Jim. Um, I saw that you were talking about tees, like you like the heavier t-shirts, and yeah. that is 100% more my style. I hate the shirts that you can damn near see through. Or yeah, like, when you wash it one time and come out of the dryer. Like, yeah. Oh. And it's crazy. I started off on that. I started off on the Hanes tees, get the little five packs. Mm-hmm. And yeah, I mean, that's where everybody starts off on, when you don't have a lot of money to start a pot. But yeah, I like... um. I, I I use seven ounce tees, mm-hmm. so they're pretty they're pretty heavy and durable. But most of them are acid wash too. Okay, because I don't. I, I mean, I like the solid colors, and I'm doing something soon. Well, I'm doing a couple things soon where it's not acid wash; it's just a straight color. Mm-hmm. But yeah, the seven ounce seven seven ounce heavy tees is is my go to. Yeah, see, because like- the quality. I, I me with my brand, I, I, and that's why I try to say luxury brand because the quality of everything mm-hmm. is gonna it's gonna be you know, it's going to be worth the money. Yeah. So you're, you're getting something that, you know, is not going to, like you said, once you wash it, it's not yeah. going to change or the color's going to fade or any of that. Yeah. Do you uh, do brand ambassadors or how do you kind of do your marketing? Obviously we were talking about with Instagram and obviously all these other people wearing your clothes, yeah. but do you work with brand ambassadors? Do you kind of do that kind of stuff? How's that all work as well? I'm slowly getting into the brand ambassadorship. Um, I mean, I tried it a long time ago, and then just when me being in the Navy, going overseas. Understandable. I was deployed six months, come back, then deployed six months. So it was kind of hard with networking or just communication. But um, I'm I'm starting it now. Like, I just started it maybe two months ago. Okay. Yeah, I have maybe maybe 50 people. I put it on Instagram, like, hey, Brandon Bassett. Yeah, 50 said. people? Yeah. Well, no, I had 50 people. Oh, I was like, damn. Like, reach out, and I gave them, like, a questionnaire. Because mm-hmm. I didn't want to just be like, oh, yeah, you could be one. Oh, yeah, you could be one. You I understand. One. I kind of want to see the gist of you know their mindset when it comes to brand and and, it, and it's not a paid brand ambassador that's what a lot of people get it confused and not even get it confused but it's kind of like when i see a brand ambassador i always see them being active on social media mm-hmm. so it's just like 
I don't want you to be a brand ambassador and you're not even active. Cause yeah. Cause what do you, what do you, what's your, like, what are you branding? You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I got about eight people right now. That's uh that's brand ambassadors. But I mean, it's, how can I say it? It's kind of, it's easy. Mm-hmm. Like it's easy to do and it's easy to get people to, you know, support it. But sometimes it's just like it gets complicated. Sometimes. No, you're you're getting it because I, the reason why I ask that is a lot of people like or brands feel like they get. I feel like I hear them get asked a thousand times a day. Mm. Hey, how can I be a brand ambassador? How can I get free stuff yeah. off you? How can I do this? How mm-hmm. can I do that? And it's just like, you know, I feel like if the person was supporting you for a while, say they like they every drop that you put down, mm-hmm. they they bought it and they're yeah. wearing it and they're posting it online just for free already. Mm-hmm. Then you know, working with them. But these people that you've never seen them on your page, they've never liked, never. commented, nothing, and never. they want free. stuff stuff it's like come on man like show some support to me that's what narrowed it out with the whole uh questionnaire Mm -hmm. so i was sending i think i sent maybe 10 10 or 11 questions and it was typical questions like have you ever bought from stay young clothing Mm -hmm. are you active on social media how many times do you post a day like just just simple stuff like that so a lot of people didn't respond back which is good because it narrowed it out yeah it narrowed out from who you know who really wanted to be one or Mm -hmm. who sees oh he just went viral on a fashion show uh real and oh i want to be a brand ambassador so i mean it it's just man i don't know it's hard man yeah, it's, I... it's definitely hard because it, i mean i'm a one-man show like shipping media designs paying for this paying for that like i, I do it all i respect that yeah, man so that's it's... that's how me and shan are dude like yeah. with a lot shan does a lot of behind the scenes stuff she i'm sure as you see her keep going back and forth <laughs> she's taking photos making sure videos are going and stuff and then yeah. like i'm editing i'm you know obviously on here with you yeah and um reaching out to people scheduling it's ev- it's me you know? yeah and, and we scheduled this a while ago you yeah. had a lot of pie yeah and i felt bad like i wasn't trying to seem like snooty or anything like yeah. that i was just more like um we were about we just got back from a cruise i was mm-hmm. telling you we went to jamaica and the cayman islands so what i was trying to do was um I booked up two weeks where I had three each week Mm -hmm. and I only post one episode a week. Mm -hmm. So I was just, I like to bank things up just in case, uh, you know, just this week I had someone who wasn't able to come and, you know, so I always want to have a backup Mm -hmm. just in case if someone doesn't come on, makes my life a little easier. And also there's a lot of people who don't have a lot of time to do things. So I'm pretty like on point, like, Oh, you're available to say, okay, cool. We're going to do it that day kind of thing. Yeah. I mean, it's dope though. I mean, I still like I had, when I did the great beard, Mm -hmm. Right after that, the next day I did another podcast. Hey, what was that? What was uh, the other podcast? They called trouble troubleshooting. Yeah, Trouble troubleshooting Shoot. reality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I think uh, they're going to be coming on here soon. I'm going to be going on there soon. Oh, that's dope. Yeah, they're, 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 that was a dope podcast. Yeah. Hey, that's cool. Yeah, man. but I, yeah, I met them. I don't actually. I don't even know how I met them. I think I seen. Oh no, actually, yeah, the one of the girls that was up there, um, she bought something from the nine oh. What's the nine oh four? I think it was the first one. Maybe mm-hmm. the one the the first vendor event. She bought something. And then, you know, I got everybody's social medias and I seen her post a video that they made on YouTube. Mm-hmm. And it was, it was a pretty funny video to me. And then I reached out to them and they was like, oh, yeah, let's do it. So it's yeah, awesome, so. dude. That's the thing about the podcast game is like a lot of people feel like they're weird if they reach out. I'm yeah. like, to be honest, you're making my life 10 times easier. Yeah, because It's not always a guaranteed yes. Like, obviously, like when you reached out, I was like, so tell me about your brand. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, let's yeah. let's talk about what you got going on. Because there's some people like um, one thing I would say is like musicians. I have musicians hit me all, all the time, which there's nothing wrong with it. Shout out to you guys. Thank you for reaching out always happy to have someone who wants to come on the podcast mm-hmm. but if you only post a one song and oh yeah what are we gonna talk about <laughs> yeah i mean like that one song I, yeah I'm, like i'm not hating on it it's just i need yeah. a little bit more Some so like yeah like yeah. for you i did a deep dive i'm sure you see i have a notepad here mm-hmm. you know like i deep dive into people i want to see what you guys got going on other than just the music you know you have a life that you've lived and yeah. try to get a little bit more of your background yeah. because that's the main goal of the pod is to let people know about you and i feel like if they know a little bit more of your story they're a little more willing to work with you whether it's in business or mm-hmm. you know supporting you or any of that kind of stuff so that's the main goal for all this for sure yeah my podcast is just, just me and my friends just chilling hey there's nothing <laughs> wrong. I, me and shannon do one uh so we have a podcast inside our podcast mm-hmm. say if there's a week where you know we didn't have someone scheduled or if there's just we have stuff that we've been doing we mm-hmm. do a thing it's called sunday hangouts mm-hmm. we come on here have a couple beers you know have a conversation just mm-hmm. talk about it and like last year when we were getting married we were setting up all the plans and we kind of like took people through the daily day-to-day thing of on like the podcast yeah so we would like basically sit That's down cool. and talk about what we're doing with the wedding how's it going so far mm-hmm. and all that stuff and people really enjoyed hearing what we had going on you'd be surprised how many like how much like people just get on youtube and just search podcasts and just and it just starts from there yeah 
Yeah, you you'd be surprised how like I don't. Sometimes I don't even listen to music when I get in the car. I, I just, listen to straight podcasts. Yeah, I, I I try to just just get right on the podcast. My I like Drink Champs. That's like my Drink favorite Champs. one. Who's yeah. who's in that one? That's um like old, old older rappers. Nori uh, they they just have a whole bunch of rappers on. I'm trying to or like I'm, stars. Okay, um, I think they're with um Revolt. Okay, gotcha. Yeah, he was an old old DJ like. I like it, man. Way, way back. That's the way cool thing back. about podcasts. There's literally a podcast for anything that Everything. you listen to. Like for yeah. me, I'm a big sports fan. Mm-hmm. Uh, do you know who Barstool is? Barstool, Bar- Barstool Sports. Yeah, Barstool. Yeah, yeah. I say like, they have a couple podcasts. There's one called Pardon My Take. Um, oh yeah, with PFT yeah, yeah. Big Cat. I listen. So you, to them. Did you do you watch the Shannon Sharp? I, when he was- I've watched a couple of them so far. I watched yeah. the one with Cat Williams where he had him on there. Mm-hmm. Um, I think. I, I yeah, who didn't see that one? That, that, was, that one was wild. <laughs> Obviously, everybody watched that one. But there's a there's a couple good ones that he's done mm-hmm. so far, and talking like old players and yeah. kind of getting some behind the scenes stuff. Mm-hmm. That stuff I find interesting because this is stuff that people won't say on ESPN yep. or whatever well, it is. Can't say, can't say exactly. <laughs> so I I love that kind of stuff. So are you like a sports fan in any way, shape, or form, or are you more just like like I said, just the fashion design, all that stuff? I mean, I'm a LeBron fan. That's about it. Uh, <laughs> when it comes, to uh, <laughs> I'm a LeBron fan. I mean, I'm I a Celtics fan. That's why I say. Oh yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't really. I mean, I'm a Ray Allen fan. I Ray Allen, yeah, shit. that was my that was my favorite. Shoot. He got you all championship. Yeah, <laughs> I was with LeBron. I'm trying to shoot like Ray Allen. Same, yeah. same. But yeah, I mean, no, nah, I don't really watch sports like that. I'm a Dallas fan too. I Dallas, like Dallas. Uh, Cowboys. Yeah, Dallas Cowboys. Okay. So, yeah, I don't really. I'm not really into it like that. But I understand. I play it though. I play. I play everything but baseball. I can't. I can't get into baseball. I can't hit baseball. Yeah. Same. I played basketball growing up for a long time, and yeah. I played football for a while as well. So yeah, big, I, that's what kind of got me into sports. Mm-hmm. But let's let's talk about you growing up a little bit. Mm-hmm. So obviously, you were talking about your dad and everything. Uh, was your parents together? Divorced? Anything like that no, going my on? My parents were never together. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Just, just had me. Stay young. Hey, nothing wrong with that, man. So, <laughs> but, uh, so did you like grow up with your dad? Were both parents in the picture? How that whole situation go go down? Um, I grew up kind of like back and forth. Like, mm-hmm. I would stay with my mom, then I would stay with my dad, and then I would stay with my mom. I eventually just stayed with my mom, mm-hmm. and then just went from there. Yeah, so, there's yeah, nothing I wrong think, with it. I don't know how long I stayed with my dad. Probably about four years. Gotcha. Four or five years or something like that. My parents divorced when I was five years old, and mm-hmm. I'm lucky enough where they're all still involved in my life and everything. Mm-hmm. Actually, we live within a mile from each of them kind of thing. Oh, dang. Yeah, I so say we, we <laughs> the nicer part of town. That's yeah. why we moved over. But, no, like the reason why I asked that is just – you know the dynamics of everybody growing up is a little weird. Yeah. Did you feel like you guys? Did you guys grow up a little more affluent with money? Was it a little bit of harder times when you were growing up? How? Oh yeah, it was definitely harder times for sure. Yeah. What my mom side? Because my mom, she has four kids. So okay. I have, uh, but we don't have the same dads. Understand. So it was just, it was it was definitely rough growing up. Like four. I'm how old am I? Shit. I'm 27. <laughs> my sister's 28, and my older brother's 29. And then I have a younger brother that's turning 23 in May. So you guys are all pretty close yeah, in yeah, age. Close, okay. Yeah, very close in age. So it was, just, it, it was hard growing up for sure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Especially like financial wise. Yeah. I can understand. Let's say four kids, even, even like I can't imagine having four kids now with how expensive yeah. everything, even back then though. That's yeah. still, that's a mouth. Those are four mouths to feed yeah. and having to deal with and everything. And it wasn't even like, it was, it, that was slowly getting, everything was slowly getting expensive. Like yeah. 96, 95, 94. What'd your mom do? Uh, she didn't really work. Okay. Yeah, she re- we we were in a uh, section eighty, so okay. Yeah, it was just it was real cheap hey. to live there. So yeah, she didn't really she didn't really work. But I mean, when we grew up, she worked now, so she's mm-hmm. been working for a long time now. But um, my dad on the other side, he's like the businessman. Um, he said he owned two cigar lounges, yeah. right? That's freaking cool. He right? owned he's owned sports uh sport bars. Restaurants like he he did that before, but he's really more so in the scar lounges now. So gotcha. yeah, are you guys oh, still close? You guys yeah, still yeah, everybody yeah. so cool? Yeah, I just went up there like, not too long ago. Mm-hmm. I went to Vegas for my birthday, and then I came back and went over there. I think it was January. Gotcha, yeah, January. So yeah, went to Vegas for your birthday. Man. Yeah, that's, that's, that's I mean, nice it was a whole bunch of my Navy friends that I met in 2016 when I joined, and we was and some of them came to Japan, some of them stayed in the states. We never, ever since like 2018, we never got back together so he's like yo we might as well just do it in vegas because we all came back over here so Mm -hmm. yeah that was that was dope but yeah i'm still connected to both my parents gotcha and and siblings so yeah you're good here once i'm gonna pause for a second okay had the microphones messing up i can hear it a little bit it's not that you're doing i just want to make sure everything's sorry about that no you just had some issues a couple times there we go you want to go ahead? All right. All right. 
Yeah, yeah, I can hear you good. Yeah. Sorry, I just, it sounds squeaky on my end. I was like, what's going on over there? But no, so that's cool that you're still close with your family and everything. So mm-hmm. your other siblings, are you guys all still cool? Or yeah, is it more yeah. just age difference kind of thing? Nah, we're, we're all still close. My sister, she's out in Maryland right now. My brother, he's in Cali. My younger brother's still in Virginia. So, yeah, we talk every day. Me and my brother, we play COD all the time. Hey, yeah. what, I play Call of Duty all the time, dude. Yeah. So I say shout I'm, out. I'm not good, but I'm, uh, I'm I'm good enough. Oh, I never said I was good. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, say, I like, to, say, I like yeah. to play. I'm, I'm, I'm good. At, we like to play Plunder a lot. That's the okay. Way, yeah, Plunder is like, you know, because you can kill people, take their money, and then come back. And then you just, I, like for me, I, I have friends who live in Tampa, Orlando, and a couple other places. Mm-hmm. It makes it easier for us to kind of keep keep up with each other. Yeah. So that's why I love playing video games. and being Same able thing to- for us, too, because he's, he's uh, in Cali, so, you know, that's three three hours. Hours. Yeah, and then my my younger brother, he's just always waiting for us to get on. So mm-hmm. Like, yeah, but I mean, yeah, we all connected. My sister, she she's uh she's just working. I got you, <laughs> in man. Maryland. Yeah, she's kind of like introvert, but I understand. Yeah. I understand. So to get to know you a little bit more, obviously, you you know, you said a little bit of a harsher growing up and everything. Mm-hmm. When did the idea for like really wanting to start your brand come in? You said was it 2015 when it was unofficially started? Yeah. Like, what was kind of the idea of like, hey, I want to get into clothing? Uh, I mean, I'm not really a guy that would just like I I would probably spend more money on shoes than clothes mm-hmm. ever. Like, I don't like buying the Louis Vuitton. I don't like spending that much money mm-hmm. on, like, just clothes. I I, I can't really explain it. Like, I'm a shoe guy as well. Yeah, I don't. I don't like. It's just too much sometimes. Like jeans, sometimes five hundred dollars for some jeans and and six hundred dollars, like a thousand dollars for jeans, like all the expensive belts some and all true stuff. Re- religion yeah, stuff like, and everything. True religion was it was hype. It was hype when we were in well when I was in high school. So what twenty? It was so hype when I was in high school. Yeah, I was okay. we're not that we're not that far in yeah, age gap. Just, I don't. Uh, I'd just rather not spend that much money. So I'm just like you know I'm just gonna create my own because, I mean, fuck it, I might as well. Mm-hmm. And then and then it was kind of like a little joke or a saying because my, my I'm the only one with the last name Young. Okay. So you know in school they, you know yeah we'll stay young and, and I was like you know what? I'm just put that on the shirt yeah and I put it on the shirt and then. I sold out those shirts. And I was like, "Oh shit, okay, I'm gonna come out with another colorway shirt." Let's mm-hmm. just say, and I was like, "Yo, stay on clothing, get your, you know shirts." We just joking around, and then from there, I mean, it sold out. And I said, "You know what? I think I'm just gonna do it." And I was always a business guy. Like mm-hmm. I was like, my dad was in the business, so I was I was always wanted to do it, but I just wanted to do my own kind of thing. I respect it though, man. Yeah, like so, it started from that, and then. You're here. Yeah, I'm I'm here. I say got athletes, got... Not not leaving either. Hey, man, I love to see it. And, and like, the reason why I love talking to creatives, like, such as yourself and Mm -hmm. uh, artists and other people, because you create something in your mind and you made it happen. Yeah. There's a lot of people who are like, oh, I want to do this, but this would be expensive, or this wouldn't work, or that. And, like, people will just think about it and never start it. Yeah. I'm really big on, like, with the podcast, I had three pieces of equipment mm-hmm. and I was just like, I'm just going to start this, see where it goes. And, yeah. and if it continues to grow, I'll start th- investing more and more into it. That's and what I do. I feel like I, sometimes I do way too much though. Mm-hmm. Like if it's the, like I even did a podcast, they talking podcast. Mm-hmm. So it's just like, and then when it comes to the clothing and then try to do the podcast and then, you know, just doing other stuff with just Navy and then just personal life. It's just, I just feel like I'm a guy that just fuck it. I'm gonna do it. Like, yeah. And then, but the thing is, I'm I'm also a guy that's like, I don't give up. And a lot of brands that I've known, just, just they started and then they stopped. Because, you know, oh, I'm not getting the support or, oh, you know, this I'm not selling or wherever the case may be. I don't, I'm not going to stop though. Like, I, I mean, I get it. It's hard times. It's been times I was like, dang, I haven't sold in a while. Mm-hmm. And then I was just like, all right, fuck it. I'm just going to come out with something new. And I come out with something new. And then next thing you know, all that stuff that wasn't selling is like, oh, you got that too. Oh, you got... Oh yeah, I'm about that too. Mm-hmm. So it's just, I think I'm just a guy that would just I won't give up easy at all. That's that's the way I look yeah. at it as well. Because you, with the first, I would say first year I was doing this podcast, man, no one listened to it. No yeah. one, no one cared. You know, it just it was just more. I felt like I was speaking to the void. But you know, as I started putting more stuff out on social media, more mm-hmm. people started to see it. Um, brands and other people were interested in what I was doing and yeah. kind of the message behind it. I, because like for me, the big thing about the podcast is just promoting my city. Mm-hmm. I, you know, obviously if money comes in or sponsors come in. That's great. You know, I obviously want to make sure the pockets are, have some money in it and make sure we can continue doing this thing to make it better. But at the end of the day, the main sole goal of this is to promote local people, either here in Jacksonville or people mm-hmm. who are doing good things. Yeah. That's all I care about. That's, that's my biggest thing too. I always tell everybody that I work with, I'm, really big on it's not about what you know it's what you know networking mm-hmm. like that's the biggest thing for me 
Um, I mean, even when I was in Virginia, I did my own fashion show. Um, I did it in, it was called Slover Library, uh, downtown Norfolk. And um, it was other brands that, you know, that couldn't afford to do uh, their own fashion show or something like that. So I, I, I did a, a Stay Young Summer fashion show, but it was other brands. Some And most of them just had T-shirts. Mm-hmm. Like, so it wasn't even like I had a whole bunch of stuff at that time. And I was all about putting everybody in one room to, you know, expand or just network. So, I mean, even the DJ that I had and then the the performers that I had, like this one girl, she, she was like upcoming DJ. Mm-hmm. And like now she's doing like, I know she was in a video. She she did something for Shaquille O'Neal. Like I was like, that's freaking. I was like, that's crazy. But it, it is, man. But the power of networking is huge. That's why. Huge. I, that's why I was like telling you about the art show. Like you know, that's not my personal crowd. I didn't know everybody there. I knew two people there. Yeah. And at, by the end of the show, I had handed out stickers. You know, shaking hands, saying mm-hmm. what's up. Because it, if you put yourself out there, people are interested in that. Because yeah. there's a lot of people, like you said, that are a little like like remember school dances. People mm-hmm. sitting in the corner no, and just kind of watch. It, I don't want to do it. Yeah. Yeah, man. It's just good to get out there and shake hands. And that's why I was telling you about Safe House. If you ever see one of their events or check them out on Instagram, dude. They yeah. do an awesome job and I think you would actually do really well there because it's I'm not it, it's not just painting and stuff yeah. like that. It's like clothing. You mm-hmm. know, they, they're they are locked in with everybody in Jacksonville, creatives That's just good. in general. Safe house? The safe house oh, Jax. Safe house. Yeah, on, on Instagram. Before you leave, I'll, I'll show you their page. <clears throat> But no, and like, it's cool that you're putting your ideas out there and helping yourself grow. And mm-hmm. obviously you're doing a great job, man. Like I like your Thanks. clothing as well. I'll definitely be either. The, my it. favorite thing that you have on your page is, uh, or your, your website is those bomber jackets. Those things are freaking clean. Oh, the bomber jackets. Those things are And that's ba- great. That's one of the pieces. Bad ass, bro. That's one of the pieces. I was just like, dang, I should never order this many. Mm-hmm. Like, and I, and I ordered them back in, when I was in Japan, I think I ordered, I, I ordered a lot, mm-hmm. it, like too much. And I'm just like. Damn, I'm never gonna get this shit. Do you ever do you ever get worried about that stuff not moving and you put a you know, you put obviously it's not cheap to mm-hmm. get your clothing and everything in. Have you ever had an issue where you're like, dang, I just spent so and so amount of money yeah, and this sure. isn't moving, this is really starting to bother me? Yeah, I have especially in the early ages when you're just so eager to like, oh, I got a design, I got a colorway, I wanna drop it. You know, so that and but even when the and the bomber jackets was really when I started to transition from the quality of my clothing. Because at first, you know, I'm just dropping shirts and I did, I did fanny packs and dad hats and and it was I mean it was good but it wasn't the the I guess it wasn't the zone I was trying to go on as far as the quality but I understand. the bomber jackets man I ordered so many of those bomber jackets I'm just like dang it's not a lot of people buying them so what the fuck am I gonna do now and yeah. then next thing you know like like literally. When I came out here to Jacksonville and I just started posting them and whatever, it's just so many people just started buying them jackets. They're they're clean, man, because you can, they're not like too heavy where you can't wear them during like, yeah. say like if you're stepping out to, to go, not even just the club, but just go to an event at night or something mm-hmm. like that. It's not too hot. You're not dying and like sweating to yeah. death and everything. And that's kind of like more my style. Like for me, I am a shoe guy. I do. I don't buy them as nearly as much as I used to, but like <laughs> I was big into Jordans for a long time. Yeah. Um, also like I was a skateboarder growing up as well. So mm-hmm. I wore like that skate brand style as well and bomber jackets were a huge mm-hmm. thing as well but uh, i'll definitely be reaching out about buying one of those blue ones i, gotcha. I, I thought that blue color was beautiful on there yeah I, everybody asked me about the black one from that video but that was a one-on-one hey i understand so i made that first and and i was just like you know what i'm just gonna do other colors and then yeah i just i was like you know what i want i was only just gonna do blue mm-hmm. i was just like you know what fucking i'm just gonna do green and red the typical colors they're, cu- they're good colors though yeah. because you can kind of wear those with a little bit of any- everything you know yeah, what I, mean? I sold a lot of the, i sold a lot of those green ones the, like after that show I, I don't know i probably sold 15 20 in the first week Damn. of the green ones alone and That's but solid. the thing is i had the inventory for it because i ordered them back in 2018 2019 and they wasn't they wasn't pushing like that. Gotcha. I mean, they was, it was you know, a couple sales trickling, whatever case may be. But after that show, yeah. And plus, fashion, I feel like changes every year. There's mm-hmm. like a new style. Like like right now, like the bell bottom jeans are back in. Yep. Like I've been seeing that's a lot more of a thing, and that's stuff from back in the '80s. You yeah. know, like I feel like it's kind of uh, comes back around what people are wearing. You mm-hmm. know, and I, I like it. And I yep. feel like you just like the retro and the vintage. Like mm-hmm. that, that's never going to fade away. But it did fade away. Now everybody's thrifting. Everybody's trying yeah. to find. It's just like it's, it's you can't go to can't go. To goodwill without someone having their phone out be like look what i found on tiktok yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean? oh is this the location oh uh, you don't want to give me a location okay all right well mm-hmm. now i gotta go to a whole nother state to try to find one of them hole in the wall thrift stores yeah yeah it's crazy but so I mean, with you fashion yes yeah, so, so with you being a shoe guy what would you say is your favorite pair of shoes 
any brand, whatever, whatever style. I'll give you mine. I was a big so for me growing up, I was a Jordan Five fan. Those are my favorite. Five, five with the look like teeth on the side and everything. A little bit of a heavier shoe. Yeah. I just like the I like the beefiness of it and the different colors that you could do because I had the Laney Fives or the blue. Oh, the Laney Fives, uh, a good colorway. Yeah, the white and then the tongue was blue and yellow. The mm-hmm. logo was yellow. I love those shoes. I th- I think I still have them actually back there. I would say, I would say Jordan ones. Oh, of course. Yeah. I, I, that's a classic shoe. Yeah. You can wear those with anything. Yeah, I was gonna, I was going to wear some ones. I was going to wear mocha ones, but I said, you know, I'm going to switch it up because mm-hmm. I like Yeezys too. They're, I was to say you have Yeezys on, right? Yeah. yeah, they're comfortable. So I mean, but Jordan ones definitely. But I would say, uh, I, w- I, I would probably say fives, fives or threes. Threes are clean too. Yeah, I would yeah. say threes. It, it probably go one, three, five. Those are yeah. Those are yeah. all solid choices. To be honest, Jordan ones are just that was the shoe yeah. that started the game. Like everybody loved the ones. Yeah, my first pair of shoes was uh, Raptor sevens though. Ooh. My Jordans, yeah. and, and I remember going. We were. I was going to high school. You know, they always come out around Labor Day like this. Mm-hmm. My older brother, he had DMP, so you know the gray in it. Mm-hmm. And I just, I was like, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to go camp for these shoes. That's what camping was. Camping right. was yeah. the move. I, I was like fourth in line. I was like, oh, yeah, I got my got my Jordan 7s. But, I mean, I also like phone posits. Too. Phone posits are clean. Yeah. You don't see a lot of people wearing those nowadays. Those are big they in high back. school. They, they are? Out. Yeah, they starting to, uh, I think some, uh, they're doing like a, um, they call them a DMV. Okay. Yeah, like uh, D.C., Maryland, Virginia. Okay, gotcha. They're doing, they're doing that colorway. That's that, It's coming out soon. But they're starting to do like. Uh, the all black ones and pearls and all that. They're starting to re-release I, those. I used to like the ones that look like the weather pattern on the side of the shoe. They were like oh, they, Dopermans. Yeah, those ones. Those yeah. ones are clean. And then uh, I still have a pair of uh, R.I.P. Kobe's. Mm-hmm. I have a pair of Kobe's that I still have. I'm just saving. You just, saving. You just never know. Yeah. And then um, I have a pair of Sh- Charlotte Bobcat. This was a limited drop. It was mm-hmm. a Bobcat. I think they're 11s or 13s. I forgot which one they are. But they, I think only a couple thousand were ever sold out of them. Oh, you got those? Yeah, I got those and they say all the names of all the players on the bottom oh. of going across the lines and everything uh but no I, I i was a big shoe guy for a while it's just as as i've gotten older man i just can't look at myself and be like i'm gonna go spend 500 dollars on a pair of shoes i just yeah. can't man you know it's just i get them when they i mean i i got another business too it's called stay vaulted with my best friends since high school tell so. me about it what, what's that uh it's uh we we kind of do art and um shoes okay so we're trying to like literally try to find a lot of local artists he's uh he's he's out in virginia right now but um we're, we're trying to collab it to where we can open up a store to wear shoes and art that's really so cool. yeah he he had a thing in uh middle school well high school called vaulted studios mm-hmm. and then i had stay young clothing and i was like yo we might as well we both love shoes like that's bad we both, so he's like you know we might as well just call it stay vaulted and then we go from there. So. If, you're, if you're ever looking for a shoe artist, I had a gentleman on here. His name is Julian Gaska. Shout out, Julian. Mm-hmm. A super cool dude. He does uh, custom art on shoes all mm-hmm. over the place. He actually made me a pair, or not, he didn't make the shoe, but he painted the shoe. It mm-hmm. was uh, uh, Air Force Ones, and it's with my logo. Yeah, like custom, oh, custom logo. The Nike swoosh has a, a, a light around it. The mm-hmm. lights up. You click a button, the, the swoosh lights up and everything. What in the world? Yeah, the world? he does really good work. Young Do dude. Do you ever wear them? No, so these ones aren't made to wear. I've got these, oh. so what's going to happen here soon, I'm going to get a bookshelf to put here in the corner to get rid of that ugly-ass gap. And <laughs> um, basically what I'd want to do is I'm going to start adding people. So people who either give me stuff mm-hmm. or, you know, stuff I bought, I'm going to feature different artists and different people's mm-hmm. stuff on the podcast. And you got to keep his up there. The oh, yeah, time. those <laughs> will definitely be there. But I'm going to switch it out every single week. So mm-hmm. I'm going to put new stuff on and make sure people can see it. I mm-hmm. want to make sure people can see the different things that people are creating here in Jacksonville. Yeah, man, that's just, like I said, this is all about support. This is me some shoes mate oh hit hit him up dude he does amazing work before you leave i'll show you the shoes he does solid work Mm -hmm. and he does them where you wear them or if he asks you do you want to wear these or are these more just a piece to have in your house Uh, i'll probably i'll probably say a piece of wear my house and then fuck around and wear them there's nothing wrong with it man (laughs) the the reason why i don't wear these is because the lights that they have in them they have a it's like a little battery thing that you Mm -hmm. click on inside the shoe so it'd be kind of hard to wear you'd be stepping on it kind of thing but i chose that that version that's dope i can't get into that though it's just it's people that can do that with shoes i am not artistic enough in any way shape or me form neither. bro me neither but no like i said it's just i love i just love the different kinds of pieces that people can do it's yeah. when i see something that i could never do in my life it mm-hmm. makes me want to learn more about it and that's kind of how these con- conversations start like i said i have no idea how to design clothes <laughs> but uh we're, it ain't that hard yeah it's just it's more i guess where i'd get started in finding mm-hmm. manufacturers yeah. making sure you know or even getting the logo made as well kind of thing or yeah. not the logo but the the Design. setup oh. design of it is you're right yeah i mean i start off with doing the print press at, at home 
boom. That's what something I've been. Silhouette machine. Mm-hmm. That was hard starting off at first, but then I was just like, yeah, I got to. I got to just upgrade now. Yeah, so, man. Yeah. But you're doing a great job, dude. Like I said, Thanks. like everything you're wearing is awesome. I love the hat. I love your sh- uh, your jacket and everything. I like the whole setup that you have going on. It's yeah. awesome to Appreciate see it, someone moving f- to Jacksonville and bringing something good with them. And like I said, you have a good good uh, meaning behind your clothing and mm-hmm. everything as well. What would you say, obviously buying your clothes and everything, but besides that, what would you say is the best way people can help you here in Jacksonville or even anywhere else that sees this video? How could they help you, whether it's like posting on social media for you, um, mm-hmm. kind of help promote you any of that stuff i don't know i mean i think you answered it posting uh, you know reposting or i mean buying i mean i really can't i mean reaching out i'll definitely come to events mm-hmm. i mean i'm like i said i was doing back-to-back podcasts and just vendor event after vendor event the fashion show like we even did another thing um when we went back to the collab and did like a, I guess we're doing a documentary. Oh, are you guys really? Show. Yeah. Um, and all the people, all the, own, like the, uh, owners of, you know, Keeks and Dolly mm-hmm. Disco, we went back and we're doing, we were doing like an interview. It was okay. Like a, I think they're doing like a, um, I don't know who, I forgot the, the, the page that's doing it, mm-hmm. but they're doing like a documentary on the that's show. So it's like always it. a lot of stuff. I'm always moving, man. So anybody podcast, I'll come on, man. Show some love. Yeah, man. Because it's more exposure. If anybody ever reaches out, I'll recommend them to you. Them or you to them. You know what I mean? Yeah, man. We're all big about helping everybody grow. And obviously, I think you're going to continue. Y'all should all just do one big ass podcast, all the fucking podcasts. That'd be badass, man. One big venue and this big wide table, like a fish eye view. And everybody just be recording live. You'd be be surprised how. So, me and Shannon are involved in a group. It's called uh, Jack's Podcast Unite. Shout out. Mm -hmm. Um, it's all the podcasters in Jacksonville. We get together once a quarter mm-hmm. and you, they either do workshops or they help you learn how to, you know, edit your podcast, record mm-hmm. your podcast, uh, what you could do better, blah, 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 blah. Mm-hmm. And then it's a big networking thing. Dude, every time I go there, there's a, close to 100 people there. It's, there's a lot of podcasts in here. Yeah, so I, I always look, recommend just looking up and people are always looking for guests. I, I Every day after work, I scroll my phone, see mm-hmm. what's new in Jacksonville, what people are kind of talking about, what, yeah. what people are doing. And uh, with me, I always look at what I'm interested in. Mm-hmm. It's not if someone reaches out, it's not always a yes. Like I yeah. said, it's always like let me look and see what you got going on, kind mm-hmm. of thing. But reach out to all these podcasts. Like I said, they're all doing great things. And uh, Random Acts of Podcasts, who I told you about earlier, yeah. I think you'd be perfect for their show. They okay. talk about all kinds of different stuff on there. But no, guys, definitely go check them out. But before I let you go, oh, actually, I have one final question mm-hmm. for you. So I ask this to everybody who's new on the podcast, first time being on, mm-hmm. is do you feel successful, and in what ways? Um, as far as successful, I wouldn't say. You know, when people say successful, they always think like celebrity or whatever the case may be. As far as successful, I always feel like I could be doing something better. Mm-hmm. So, and and that's just a, a personal thing for me because it's like, okay, you did this. Okay, you could have done that better. Or you did, you know, you did this designer. Yeah, it sold out, but what if you would have did it twice? You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, as far as successful, I feel like I'm, I'm far ahead of where I was way back then. So I, I feel like I'm a, I'm a successful person personally, but as far as being successful, as far as the brand being out there, I don't think just yet, but then again, I don't even know why I'm saying it. Cause everybody can be like, man, you successful. You successful. We seen you come from this just solid white tees. But, and what was the other question? other part of the question oh no you're good so i said do you feel successful and in what ways and i feel like you've answered the question oh, okay. very well cool the reason why i asked that question to everybody is certain people or not certain people people all answer it differently mm-hmm. so some people it's monetarily you know I'm, yeah. I'm making money or some people like with me for example like i'm not rich in any way shape or form but mm-hmm. i am very much happy with my life i have a wife that loves me a family that i'm mm-hmm. so close with and great friends and obviously you know getting to network with people almost every day yeah so that's where i find my success personally and you know different people are feel like you know, what their success success is and it's mm-hmm. hard for them to define. Yeah. And it's funny, like 90% of people say yes. And I love when someone says, eh, maybe yeah. and not because I, I feel know. like, I just feel like w- w- when it comes to success for me, I just want literally everybody to be in stay on clothing. Yeah, like, man. I, I want them to feel like, Oh man, like, Oh, you you got that on? I got, I got this luxury brand mm-hmm. on. Not just saying, Oh, I got a luxury brand on, but you can tell when people are dressing 
You can tell what people are just, you know, oh, yeah. bougie, you know, like, like keep, expensive wear. Keep an eye yeah. out for the podcast. I'll buy one of those bomber jackets. You'll see me. Hey, you'll I see me you. wearing it. You'll see, see me wearing on the pod. Hey, I say always down. But like I said, thank you so much again for sitting down with me today. It's been thank a, you for having it's me. It's been man. a pleasure to get to know you and everything. And you'll see me around. I'm going to be coming down to events and stuff. Hey man, hopefully. I mean, I'm, I'm deploying this year, so I'm uh, not going to see me too many times after, man. Uh, after say, June. Yeah, I'm gonna be gone for about a good nine months. You're gonna see me when I pull in the port, though. When nine months, port, man. Yeah, nine months. I'm. I'm we, we, I don't know how many countries we hit in this time, but y'all, when I get some service, I'm, I'm going to definitely be on my social media. Hell yeah, man. Yeah, cause I'm, I would still be trying to make drops. As I'm gone, so it's just going. It's going to get. It's going to get crazy for me. At yeah. Least. Well, but, we we appreciate your service as well, man. Thank you. You thank know, you. in the whole military thing, obviously more than appreciate it for the guys and gals that put their ass on the line. I yeah. say I don't know about me signing that piece of paper. <laughs> that would have bothered me a little bit. But before I let you go, please let everybody know again where they can find your social media, your website, anywhere they can find Stay Young Clothing. Stay Young Clothing. S T A Y O U N G clothing.com is one Y y'all do not put two Y's <laughs> they be like oh stay young clothing I put it's S-T-A-Y-Y nope cause you're not gonna find it it's gonna come up blank S-T-A-Y O-U-N-G clothing.com Hell yeah. And um, everything that he was talking about here, his website, social media, all that stuff will be put in the description. So make sure you guys go follow him. And also, if you guys uh, buy a piece of clothing, let him know that the Who Are You sent you. I always love when uh, my listeners always mm-hmm. go and support, you know, really big on that. I'm, I'm hoping everybody can go and check out your clothing and stuff. And you never know. You might see this man's uh, clothing again on another NFL player, hey, a celebrity. I you got some stuff in the works. You guys will see. I almost see. slipped up and said it, but I... Uh, You're good, man. I understand. But shout out to you again. Thank you again for sitting here on the podcast but before we get out of here guys make sure you give us a follow on the social media it's gonna be at who are you pod for everything youtube facebook tiktok twitter instagram all the normal spots make sure you give us a follow on there also is if you guys know anybody who has a story needs to be told whether it's like a clothing brand a entrepreneur a restaurateur any of that stuff feel free to shoot me an email it's gonna be who are you pod at yahoo.com or you can hit me up on social media as well i'm always the one who answers the questions or if uh, any scheduling it's me who's answering that so you guys know you'll be talking to the source Um, as well guys like I said every single week thank you again for listening and we'll see you guys next week